solve some of these puzzles. Our first puzzle, puzzle number one, has three lines that correspond to six numbers. The question we are asking ourselves is what is x plus y? Both a, there's a difference of 15 between both of them. 
and the fact that it's we've got a straight line of x and y makes me think that there's something to do with angles going on here. I would agree with that. Now, 10, 40. I'm wondering if this is actually corresponding to different, like, dates on a sort of arbitrary calendar clock that's going on, something like that, maybe. 25 and 50. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is now. Yes. I know exactly what it is. It's it's minutes. It's minutes on a clock. That's what it is. Yeah. So imagine on the left-hand side, the dot, you know, the, the start of the line on the left, that's pointing towards 55. And the 25 is pointing to there. Yes. That's it. The 10, yeah, for the middle one, 40 is that yes so then x and y it would be zero at the top or 12 but we're going by numbers here so it's minutes so it's zero on top and then it's 30 at the bottom i'm gonna write that down yeah because i'm gonna need this for later in the game i actually didn't think i was gonna solve any of these so i forgot to do that okay so for puzzle number one Puzzle 1, x plus y equals 30. And that's good because we want, we're, we're looking for double digits here. That's how all of these are going to work. Okay, puzzle number 2, I, I do know this one already, uh, but I will, I'll tell you the solution to this one. Uh, I can't speak any of this language, so to be honest, the way that it uh, solves the, the, what's hidden here is you're looking at the dots, the dots on the words. So KIS has one dot from the I. The next word, Relis or Revit, has eight dots from the umlauts and the I's. Then you have the dots on Tivoli equals four, and the dots on Mansoor, and the dots in the exclamation point and question mark equals seven. This is how you get 1847. So, the answer to which number is hidden in the underlying sentence is four, one, two, three, four, one, Two, three, four, forty-four. So forty-four. Puzzle number three. R, E. You get eighteen. You get one eight five. Lorenzo. Only looking at the L's and O's, it gives you twelve and fifteen. Only looking at the L and I and Lorelei, you get one hundred twenty-nine. And then you're looking at the R and the O, that gives you one blank blank five which number is hidden behind the black bar i do know this one as well the r would correspond to the one and eight the e is five l corresponds to 12 the o corresponds to 15. we know that l is 12 because the i can only be nine it can't be something else. So, R equals 18, and O equals 15. So, the numbers hidden behind the black bar are 8, 1, 8, 1. Puzzle number 4. This is also a fairly easy logic puzzle. Uh, essentially, you're looking at numbers that are hidden behind bars. So the five, if you write it out like a digital clock, you get a five and a one. The one is totally hidden. The five, you get three horizontal lines. Similarly, with the second symbol, you have eight and zero. The vertical lines are hidden, but you still get the three dashes. You then get two dashes for a zero with the vertical lines hidden. Now our third symbol has to have one dash on the very top and then everything else is hidden and 
there's one dash in the middle and everything else is hit. This is actually a fairly easy uh, solution because there's only two numbers that this could possibly be. Seven is the first one and four is the second. Uh, puzzle number five. This is a maze. I'm not going to write this one out. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that one. This one I found actually super difficult. This puzzle is very, very difficult. I was able to get the answer, but I actually had to really, like, cook my noodle on it. The hint for this one is that each one doubles. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you the exact solution to this one, but essentially each line doubles the one before it. And from there you should actually be able to get it pretty easily. Alright. In my left hand, this is the this is one that I have actually not solved yet, but this one looks pretty easy. It's a pretty easy algebra problem. In my left hand, I have half of the total amount of coins I have. In my right hand, I have half of the amount of what I have in my left hand. The rest, six coins, are hidden away in my hat. Okay, so puzzle number seven. I'm going to write this one down a little bit because this is, again, an easy algebra problem, but let's just get it in there. Okay, so you have half the total amount of coins. So you have x over 2, x over 2 plus x over 4 plus 6 uh, how many coins do I have equals something okay actually wait a minute did I screw this up hang on I have half the amount All right, the rest are hidden away in my hat equals zero. Let's just, we'll call, we'll call it zero, I guess. I think we can call it zero, right? Sure, we can call it that. Okay. So you have half the rest, you have six. Okay, so six. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, this, this, this is fine. This, this works out. Okay, so we're looking for x plus two. Let's try to remember this. So we want x, 2x, let's try 2x um, over 4 plus x over 4 uh, equals 6. And then let's do so that would be a 3x. Six times four is twenty-four. X should be eight. Okay. I think that's accurate, but I don't think you only have eight coins. So you should have X equals eight, which means uh, eight over two is four plus two, which is X over four plus six equals 12. I think that's accurately. I think that's correct. You should have 12 coins if I did that correctly. I might not have done that correctly, but okie dokie. Can you find the hidden number in this maze? Now this is just one of those magic eye puzzles. You want to kind of let your eye just relax and I actually already found this. It's, I can't actually point it out for whatever reason. My, uh, my mouse will not show up, but it's the number three. It's the number three. I can't find anything else that goes with it. There are a few other numbers, like I see a number two that's hidden in there somewhere. I can see a number five. I can see a number four that's like flipped and backwards. I think it's just three. 
I think it's just three. So can you find it? You can pause on this or rewind. It's on the, uh, I'll, I'll tell you, it's on the right side. So you can kind of ignore the left side. And it's somewhere on the right side. Okay, puzzle number nine. This is one that you would actually, I don't think you'd be able to solve this one if you did not have another clue from the game. Okay, so the puzzle number nine is which number is hidden behind the black bar? The first number is 1691. The second number is 1961. The third number is 1881. The fourth number, the last two digits are zero and nine. Now, can you get this one without the extra clue? If you need the extra clue, ask me for it in the comments, and I will give it to you. But I don't, I don't think anyone could get this without the uh, extra context clue. I could be wrong. You might be really good at these, and you might already know these things, but if you need the clue, ask me in the comments. Okay, puzzle number 10. I have not used this one, but I do know the solution. I'm going to write it down. Puzzle 10. Okay. The first number is 83. It is inside a triangle, which is inside of a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 octahedron, an 8-sided polygon. The second number is 50. It is in a circle, which is inside of a pentagon, a five-sided polygon. I think you can see where we're going with this. Then we have the number 49 inside a nonagon, inside of a square. The mystery number is inside of a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-sided septagon, and a six-sided hexagon. So, I'm not going to spell it out for you, but I think you can get it. I think I, I think I got it. Okie dokie, that's puzzle number 10 for me done. Puzzle number 11, I did actually already solve this one. A strange man walks into a cafe. He wears a black suit and sunglasses. He sits down by your table and whispers, I have a message for you. Meet me here for breakfast, 210 degrees after zero. You know the number? Yes. He then quickly leaves again. What number did the strange man mean? What number did the strange man mean? Again, you need to think about the face of a clock. So thinking about the face of a clock, numbers 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, back to 12. Now 180 degrees from 0 gets you to uh, 6. 30 degrees past that gets you to the number. Now, actually, this one's a little bit weird because clocks don't start at zero and they don't start at, uh, you know, like degrees or any of these types of things. So the solution for this is slightly non-intuitive, but, you know, you, you, you can get there. All right, puzzle number 12. This one is dealing with spatial relations. I do know the answer to it. But I'm not going to go into it uh, because I can't really actually show this to you visually in a way that would be satisfying. Alright, puzzle number 13. I walked on floors of germanium. Before me were three crosses and two columns. A guard asked me for the code. I called Agatha's detective for a hint but he had moved to another country. The guard told me that if I was wise, I should count my teeth. What was the code? Interesting. Okay, I should count my teeth. Okie dokie. Count my teeth. is that it is the uh, number of, like, 
could see three and two, but to be honest, I think it's going to be like three times T and then two times I. So let's count up all the T's and then let's count up all the I's. I think that makes sense to me. Uh, it might be lowercase. It might be lowercase. I'm not sure though. Three crosses and two columns. I think that's what it's going to be. I think it's going to be lowercase t's. It might be uppercase as well. I can't check this one yet because I don't, uh, I'm not at the door that I need this code for, but I think we can get there. Okay. So let's count the numbers of t's. Let's go lowercase first. One and three, two and two. Which I think we can then intuit to 315 
is the one between 0 and 270. So that would be the northwestern. The northeastern would then be 45. And the door to the east should be marked 90. 9, 0. I think that's a fair assumption. That's a pretty easy one. Puzzle number 15. Numbers 1, 4, 9, 1, 6, blank, blank, 3, 6, 4, 9, 6, 4, 8, 1, 1, 0, 0. Which number is hidden behind the black bar? Interesting.
Okay. The solution here is you need to be thinking in terms of angles. I don't know how you would know this, but angles are important in this game and it's sort of a part of the uh, theme of these puzzles. So the V is a very tight angle. If you have a protractor, you can get it out, but my guess is it's a 45 degree angle. L is a right angle, 90 degree angle. 45V plus 90L equals 135. So then L by itself should equal 90. I don't know how you would get that if you weren't in the frame of reference of angles, but I mean, maybe you are. Maybe you're in geometry class and this just jumped out at you right away. Puzzle number 18. I don't have this one either, so let's see if we can get it. Puzzle 18. Okay. There's a 4x4, four four, not grid, but 4 numbers by 4 numbers. 13, 16, 43, Y. 87x, 3621, 84, 18, 32, 76, 11, 6, 7. Okay, my first, my first instinct is to say that all of these little groups of numbers, like 13 and 87, are always going to add up to the same number. So 13 plus 87 is an easy, that's 100. Now let's think, 76 plus 11 is 87. 87 plus 7 is 94, plus 6 is 100. I don't think we need to check the rest of these, but let's go ahead and do it. 43 plus 36 is 79, plus 21 is 100. 8, or uh, 16 plus 4 is 20, plus 8 is 28, plus 18 is 46, 46, yes, am I wrong, am I right? Uh, well, let's just go, alright, 18 plus 32 is 40, 40 plus 28 is 68, 100 minus 68 is 42, no, 32. So 32, uh, yeah, so then 100 has to be Y. So 100 minus 32 is 68, correct? So I think puzzle 18 should be, what do we say, 68? That's good. We're looking for we're looking for two digit numbers, so that's that actually does make sense. But let me just double check here. Yeah, let's okay, let's we need to just check. Eighteen plus thirty-two. Eight plus thirty-two is forty. Oh man, we actually I think we did screw up there. Hang on. We did screw up. Okay, eighteen plus thirty-two. Eight plus is forty. It's fifty. Okay, 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 okay. We did, we did, because we said it was 60. That's wrong. Okay, so it's 50 plus 20 from the 16 and the 4. That's 70, so 78. 100 minus 78 is 22. Yeah, okay. So then 100 minus 22 is 88. Is 88? Am I right? No, I'm definitely wrong here. I keep screwing up. It's 78. Okay. We said it was 68. That's wrong. It's 78. I could bust out a calculator, but I'm trying to do this all in my head. Alright. I think... I think 78. Tell me if I'm wrong. But I think 78 is correct here. Alright. Puzzle number 19. There's an EH. There's like an 8. And then like a dashy dash. Interesting. And then there is a triangle with a blank. Which number 
should go in the bottom shape. Interesting. Okay. Let's think here. I don't have the answer to this one. Let's see if we can work this out. Puzzle number 19. This is saying E and H. It might be the number of dashes. Okay, so let's think. So there's on both of these. Let's think. Is there any like weird way that we can read these that they become something else? We've got two open dashes. Okay, so there's four sides, two dots. I don't think that gives me anything. And then the next number has one, two, three, four, five, six lines, two dashes. space. Is that what we're doing? Because I can kind of see a three in the E. I can sort of see that. If we switch it around, if we flip these, does that make any difference? I can't think it makes any difference. I might be stumped on this one, to be honest. Interesting. Let's see. If we ignore the horizontal lines, what are we getting? We would get one. No, that doesn't work. Can't ignore the horizontal lines. That doesn't give us anything. I mean, the issues here are they're not numbers. The upper, yeah, like that's a E, backwards E. Am I crazy? I don't, I don't remember anymore. I straight up don't remember how to look at the, yeah, no, okay. I'm losing my mind, but yeah, all right, so that's an E. It's an H, I wonder. The little, I was gonna say, maybe the letters corresponds to numbers if you're assigning a number to the letter in the alphabet, but that doesn't make any sense because the eight and then the sort of dash one thing, that's something else. Blank. 
which number is hidden behind the black bar. Again, you want to be thinking of angles here. You want to be thinking about, you know, the sort of face of a clock. So if zero equals zero degrees and south directly opposite equals 30 degrees, well then east would be between zero and 30. That'd be 15. And then west, which would be between south and north on the other side would be 45. So 15 plus 45 equals 60. Yeah, now that is correct. I do know that. All right, so we didn't get this. I didn't get that at all. And then puzzle number 15. Didn't get this either. Yeah, I got nothing on these. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed these puzzles. Were you able to get all of them? Good luck in all your endeavors. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye for now.